fresh nigga, A figure, that's my type. That's my type, nigga, that's my Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's me, Paris. Today, mom's gonna be showing you guys how she does my wash day. Okay guys, today is wash day. So I just took out Paris's feet and braids and we are going to show you guys how we basically wash her hair, blow dry it, flat iron it. She has school tomorrow. So, that's what we'll be doing in today's video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I do when I wash Paris's hair. Whether it's at the salon or at home, nothing changes. So first things first, I get a towel and I put it around her because for some reason these kids hate getting wet when they're getting their hair washed. Then I'm going to comb out her hair, making sure there is no knots or anything because what you're gonna realize is I don't comb out her hair while it's being washed, like in conditioner or anything. So this is the part where you'll just see me combing out her hair. So I always use warm water when I'm washing her hair. I'm just going and I'm soaking her hair right now, literally drenching it in water. And once all her hair is wet, I'm gonna go in with some shampoo. So the shampoo I'm using is Selsun Blue. And the reason why I use the shampoo in her hair is because she has a very dry scalp. And this was recommended to me. It helped her scalp so much. It is doing so much better. So I decided to continue using it probably for another month or so and then I'll switch back to her original shampoo which is Naiweli for those who are interested. It's an argan oil shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and lather her hair and once I know that all the soap has gone everywhere I'm going to start going in and just massaging her scalp. So I shampoo her hair for about two to three minutes each wash. So I actually wash her hair two to three times depending on how long her hair has been in. Today I only washed her hair twice. So I shampooed it twice and then I conditioned it once. So that's exactly what you'll see in this video.
olive oil replenishing conditioner I love using this conditioner it smells so good guys it smells so good so I'm using this to condition her hair and what I do when I condition Paris's hair is I literally drench it in conditioner and I just start pulling her hair through just to make sure there's no knots because she has a lot of hair I don't really like combing it out in the sink like since she was young so I literally just pull through it honestly works for us I have no issues when it comes to doing her hair after it, it just works so I just do what works for me everybody has their own thing that works for them this works for us so I don't use a comb I literally use my fingers and just pull through her hair I massage her scalp and that is it I go ahead and rinse it out and then we just towel dry it So I use this detangling conditioner right after I wash her hair. This detangling conditioner works wonders. I use it all the time. It's by Revlon and it, it's just great. Like I, rec I recommend this product to anybody that needs a detangler. It is an amazing product. I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and blow dry her hair now that it has been washed. So let's get to this. So real quick, this is the blow dryer I use. It is a babeless blow dryer and I have the comb piece attached onto it. And I use this in hot and on high as well. Well, that's the temperature. I use the hot temperature and I use it on high. So when blow drying Paris' hair, I always start at the ends and then I work my way up all the time.
So very quickly, this is how Pierce Hair looks in the natural state after being washed. And this is how it looks when it's blow dried. So now that her hair is blow dried, I'm going in with my Dax, as always, curling wax. <laughs> Don't mind Pierce eating her pizza. And also my Biosil. And I'm just gonna rub it in my hands and spread it all throughout her hair. Once I've added the oil, I like to go back in with the blow dryer and just blow it out one more time. So now for the flat iron portion, I am going in with my Babeless Nano Titanium Flat Iron and I use this on the highest heat and I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron her hair. What I do is I part her hair in rows and I go row by row and just flat iron everything. I definitely find that when you follow the iron with the comb, you get a much straighter flat iron. So that is a helpful hint for anybody wondering. separately and do her edges just because when I'm doing it in the process I don't like going too close to her face 
And now I'm just applying my wax stick. This wax stick I am going to be providing. It is from Paris Hair, so guys, watch out for that. It smells really good. <laughs> and I'm just going back over and I'm pressing over the top that I used the wax stick on. It just gives it more of a shine. It lays the hairs down, you know, all that good stuff. a bit I'm going to be going in with some oil on her scalp just to ensure that it doesn't get dry or look dry I will also be adding some shine spray it's a hair polish that's what we can be doing now and also some oil sheen and that is basically it for this hairstyle Guys, I love olive oil products. Olive oil, if you see this, I love your products. <laughs> so yeah, that is about it for Pierce's flat iron. This is a quick glance at how it looks. So guys, when Pierce's hair is washed and fine, this is how it looks. Give them a look, honey. Say your outro now. Let's get it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notification bells, and drop a big like on this video. And comment down below if you guys want any more of my hair videos. Bye!